the Yakutat Seal Camps project that uh, the Smithsonian Institution, the Arctic Studies Center, uh, have been working on now for the last four years in collaboration with the community of Yakutat and the tribe and Sea Alaska Corporation. It's about the relationship between the Yakutat people and the environment they live in and the resources that are there, especially the seals. And so we're really looking at the paired story of the people and the animals that they depend on arriving at the bay. And we're looking at sites and villages that go back a thousand years. And in the ground there, in those camps, are uh, pictures of people's lives at that time and of the animals that they were hunting. And we can put the oral information together with the archaeology. They are two different ways of knowing about the past. Oral tradition is testimony. It's the stories that have been passed down through language and they have all this wonderful detail about the people who came and what they saw and uh, the, the, the interactions, uh, the human interactions. Archaeology is material evidence. It's verifiable through scientific testing and uh, it provides the element of, of time and dating, which is not included in oral tradition. And it's been very interesting to work with the elders who know these stories, who also know the place names and Clinket and Eak, which are a kind of oral tradition all in themselves, uh, and then to go out and find these sites that are and these places that are remembered in the oral tradition, rediscover them as archaeological sites, and excavate them and see that material evidence that, that verifies, that proves these stories. One of our exciting projects this summer was to do some follow-up excavations at the Old Town site on Night Island. And uh, this is where the Ganeaquan first lived when they came to Yakutat Bay from the north. And so this village is remembered in oral tradition as a very large village. There were so many cooking fires there that the smoke overcame Raven when he flew over the village. And uh, there were so many people that the earth shook. And we discovered that there are many more houses there than we previously thought. We can do much better radiocarbon dating now to get the dates. We can do much better analysis of the animal bones that are in these layers. They tell us a lot about the animals, about the environment. The uh, origins of the seals, for example, we think that they migrated from other areas to come to Yakutat Bay, just like the people did. We're going to look at their DNA, which you can extract from teeth and bones, and compare to modern samples and uh, get some the migration story of the seals, too. Uh, all of that story is, is there in these animal bones, and we, they're well preserved at the site. We collected almost 2,000 different uh, animal bones and those will all be analyzed in various ways. So very excited to start getting the results back from the analysis. We also found some uh, really interesting tools. A uh, beautiful barbed arrow point, a complete point. These are arrows that were used for both hunting and warfare. Uh, we found a barbed point from a halibut hook. So we're finding the animal bones and the fish bones, and then also the implements that people were using at that time to catch them. Another highlight of our project this summer, which took place at the very end, was working at one of the oldest sites in Yakutat Bay, which I'm expecting the radiocarbon dates to come back in the 800 to 900 year range. Probably one of the very first places people lived when they came to the bay, these are most likely Eak people who were living there. And we excavated one of their houses from that time period. And it's pretty exciting to be inside this old house down, it was a very deep house pit and going through these layers of deposits in the floor and finding some very interesting stone tools. When you dig for several weeks in one place and you're, you're really doing this work, peeling back the layers, you gradually start to really connect with, this, with the feeling of the place as well as the data that you're gathering. And, you just really had a sense of connecting with the first people who came.